So a while ago, I was listening to this podcast by Peter Atia, and he had he was talking with Dom D'Agostino, and they're talking about how MCT oil actually bumps your ketone levels, and I was not aware of that. Uh, so we're gonna test that out, try a couple of different types of MCT oil. Sorry, our MCT uh, oil options we have. Uh, this stuff that I stopped taking a while ago because it's gross and it always upsets my stomach. Um, I even got this uh, specifically to potentially minimize the uh, stomach upset. Uh, I had another MCT oil powder um, that I tossed because it was it had this probiotic with it, some sort of uh, fiber and just made me super gassy. And uh, recently started using this MCT oil powder and it's actually pretty nice. It doesn't give me much GI upset or uh, cause any gas. So uh, I've been using that. Uh, usually with some sort of caffeine during the day. And then, just for fun, we'll compare it with some coconut oil. And this is stuff I like to use because it uh, has this neutral flavor, so it doesn't have that gross coconut oil flavor. So we're gonna try these out. I'm not really sure what the optimal interval is for testing ketone levels after MCT oil. Uh, so we're gonna check out a couple different intervals, see what, see what the best timing is. Okay, first test I'm gonna do is on this uh, Zenwise C8, C10 MCT oil. Just some random stuff I found on Amazon a while back. I actually stopped taking it because it's gross and it kind of upsets my stomach a little bit. Uh, so we're gonna shoot for a tablespoon uh, of this. Uh, see what kind of effect it has on ketone levels. Uh, this is also gonna be my baseline test. So I'm gonna check at 30, 60, and 90 minutes to see when the bump occurs, because I, I don't really know. All right. Okay, it's about 15 minutes in. And like usual, it's a mild GI upset, a little bit of, I uh, feel a little nauseated. It's a very, very small desire to throw up. So, and I'm, Partly the reason why I stopped taking this stuff. Okay, 30 minutes in. Wow, that's like a, it's a pretty big jump. I was about to whine about how uh, crappy my stomach feels. Half an hour in and uh, yeah, I'm gonna toss that crap. So hopefully this other stuff performs well. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, it's been about an hour. 1.1 is still, still up there. Hour and a half later, results are in. Still elevated, not too bad. Trial number two was with the MCT oil powder. I actually like this stuff, not too bad, use it often. Had to mix it with water, two big scoops to equal one tablespoon of oil. Did get a significant bump. Okay, last trial with coconut oil. Uh, I wanted to see what this would do since it's technically 60 to 65% MCT oil. Uh, I wanted to see what kind of effect it had on ketone levels. Nothing. Okay, not to be too absolutely boring, uh, this is what happens, MCT oil uh, passively diffuses uh, through the GI tract and just the blood enters the liver uh, it gets quickly converted from the medium chain fatty acid to ketone bodies pumped back out into the blood glorious day for run sunny and cool Just a couple of details on this run. It was supposed to be a 14 mile run, and cut it short by a couple of miles. It was a pure keto, no carb load. Uh, intensity was a little too high, heart rate sitting in the 170s, and I uh, couldn't sustain that for you know, two hours. So, didn't finish out too strong. Still have a long way to go to get to where I need to be. Way. 
gonna chill at the top for just a few minutes before I head back down. All right, we came up slow. Time to rock it down. Mm -hmm.